Oh, honey, that's not Venice. That's Kurgao, underwater, again. But why? Why do our cities flood every year, yet we're facing water shortage every year? Let me explain. Rainwater should either drain into the ground or seep into lakes, rivers, ponds. Simple, right? Except we've messed up both. Wetlands, floodplains, seasonal ponds, those open patches of barren land or wasteland like people like to call them, they're all part of the natural water drainage system. Historically, and I'm talking hundreds of years ago, city planners knew this and they used to plan the city around these. Now, we just build over them. Bangalore was once dotted with lakes and wetlands which were actually man-made tanks as old as the 9th century. Now it's 90% concrete. You know they had a traditional drainage system called Raja Kaluve which were these channels between two lakes. So anytime one lake would overflow, it would naturally transport the excess water into the other lake. But now what do we have instead? Buildings. In Mumbai, the Mithi River's floodplains, now we have BKC there, the new sea link is cutting through mangroves. And mangroves are nature's sponge. They prevent floods by absorbing excess water. Chennai has lost its traditional rain-fed tanks called Aries. Delhi has constructed over the Yamuna floodplains. Gurgaon's famous 10-minute rain floods. There used to be hundreds of natural hills and wetlands here. But now we've constructed offices and these fancy 100 crore apartments there. We still have lakes, except that now they're in a underpass and in front of your apartment building and inside your apartment building. Most mind-moggling part, rainwater is the fresh water that we are calling tankers for. And when it comes and floods in our city, then it goes into a nala and gets polluted and we're just letting it go. And that's why we have floods and we have water shortage. So you know when residents are protesting in Jaipur because they don't want the last forest in the city to be cut and replaced by a mall? It's not just about the trees. We're all interconnected and it's going to benefit or harm all of us. Imagine a clean little pond in your neighborhood casually chilling there. Imagining Europe, cool, but why not here too? Gen Alpha can only touch the grass when there is some grass left, no? 